Hello everybody. Today I would like to give a brief summary about people who are born on March 23rd common years or March 22nd leap years. This individual can be distinctively described as anemic, disconnected or half dead. Others perceive him as a person who is more dead than alive. When looking at him, one might remember the stories about zombies who got resurrected by voodoo. You can find similar characters in numerous ancient legends. It is told, for example, that ancient Hebrew rabbis could create copies of human being using natural elements and materials such as clay, sand, water and fire. They called those creatures golems, and they looked almost exactly like real and alive people. They could walk, talk, and react adequately to a particular situation. Despite the external similarity, however, these creatures were not human. This example describes a person with, the, with this program very well. Regardless of all the observant vital signs, his behavior reminds the one of a golems. He automatically moves his arms and his legs, says something, eats something, does something, interacts with someone, but he does it in such a way that others may think that he is a zombie or just a body in front of them. He looks as if he is bloodless, deprived of all vital energy. He is like this from the moment of birth. It is useless to try to explain this behavior based on environmental conditions, other people's influences or events in his life. He looks as if the Creator forgot to endow him with a soul. Thus, one can perceive him as cold, indifferently calm and heartless. The traits make an impression if he is just corpse in the morgue, still fresh but not alive. His calm, reserved, apathetic and aloof to all and everything, including himself. He's not in a hurry to be anywhere or do anything. He doesn't really want anything out of his life. His behavior and personal philosophy reminds the well-known characters of the famous American movie The Addams Family. They look energetic and joyful, but while putting a bouquet of flowers in a vase, they cut off the butts and admire naked sticks. He regards himself and others as a potential fertilizer for soil to sustain different plants' growth, as if everybody is just a part of natural, utilizable materials. This person is death advocate, who is not only accepted, but defends and praises it. Like the great Plato, he is convinced that the body is a prison of the soul. He believes that in order to become immortal, one needs to get rid of the perishable flesh. He thinks that the soul should be free, thus the death of body is normal and even positive condition. Death doesn't frighten, frighten nor repels this individual, but instead causes interest and even some enthusiasm. The subject of death excites him, attracts his attention and thoughts like a magnet. He is deeply concerned with the mystical process of passing from life to death, from one state to another, from one world to another. He is interested in the philosophy of death. In order to understand it, he reads different materials on this subject matter. It can be necrological reports, current news on accidents and catastrophes, or classical philosophical essays. He is also generally interested in different scientific research that is conducted on the subject of death. For example, the scientific articles that were published based on the body weight comparison before and after death, which concluded that the documented difference in several grams attributes to the existence of human soul. Besides scientific research, which explains death from their point of view, this person can be interested in mystical books, which describe death from another perspective. He can also become curious in how the process of death is described in different religions and ancient contemporary cults. His favorite book, 
may be Dr. Marty's life after death. The book describes uh, cases of people who experienced clinical death, who were there and saw the mysterious light at the end of the tunnel. This individual is also interested in the description of bloody battles, wars, and historical conflicts which resulted in huge quantity of victims. He's drawn to the detailed portrayal of those historical figures like rulers, leaders, commanders who are responsible for leading the nation or part of the nation to such tragic and bloody outcomes. He's also fascinated with kamikaze samurais who willingly sacrifice their lives. He may be interested in criminal history of bloody crimes and famous killers and murderers. This individual is interested in absolutely everything that results in human death, like any historical events to, uh, that led to it, any material object, any, any natural disasters, and so on. He's captivated by executions, accidents, catastrophes that involve numerous human victims and any mystical cults that involve human sacrifice. He's interested in ancient pyramids, dead languages, archaeological excavations, mummifications and mummies, and quick and deep freezing, which theoretically allows one to revive a human in the future. Thus, this person's spectrum of interests is quite wide, but all of them relate to death. For complete information about this subtype structure or any other subtype structure, please visit www.catalogofhumanpopulation.org. Thank you.